Hello, queens and kings. It's Dana Stewart Coates, Killer Queen Antique Jewelry, with a uh, uh, live for me, but recorded for you unboxing to the tune of $2,500 in the box. But these first pieces that I'm going to show you are actually I bought separately. So I've had a lot of people ask me for gold pieces, which I have been bringing you more yellow gold. It's very difficult to find antique white gold because they didn't start really using it until the Edwardian times. And even then it didn't catch on really until the 1940s. So it is rare to find a piece of white gold more common you'll find yellow gold this first piece is victorian now it's on a more modern chain but the chain is nine karat gold and the cameo is also set in nine karat gold she's lovely almost haunting looking Well, this next one is on a rather sturdy chain. With a safety. And the only time you're ever going to see a chain with a safety is when it's an expensive piece. She's, of course... Victorian and a lot of people say it's coral. I'll tell you the truth. It is queen conch, which is really just as expensive as coral. I'm just looking around. I have no, oh, there's the other piece. <laughs> I was like, there's another piece and I don't see it. And with this necklace are nine karat gold matching earrings with a screw back. Come on this way so I can show you them both. Now, this one at some point has been re-glued. But I've tested them. They're still both very sound. This next piece is nine carat. An art deco on a gold chain. Beautiful gear enamel. some new pearls I don't know if the color is actually coming across but they're cream white pink and almost a lavender of course those are cultured freshwater pearls Next piece is Victorian. And yes, it's a pools of light locket. 
These are quite rare. I'll try to open it for you. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Not with my nails on. me for antique fobs and these are both Georgian and gold now they're foiled and that darkness back there is likely dirt but that is a citrine And this one is an amethyst. And we can determine they're Georgian because the stones are foiled. Well, I do like to bring amber occasionally. But when I do bring amber, I like to bring exceptional amber. Because there are just so many sellers that are selling modern and... Just a little bit average. So when I bring you amber, I'm only going to bring you something completely unusual. I might say this Victorian lamppost kind of fits the bill. Of course, it's a brooch. Very cool piece. Um, yeah, I'll show you the other Queen Conch piece. Now this one is set in sterling. And it's Art Deco. And I have it in a case. <laughs> That's why it's taking a minute to get it out. stunning is that and the oh, no, there's a couple more pieces that I can show before we do the unboxing need the bust anymore. Uh, this is Whiting and Davis Intaglio Cameo Bracelet. Now, you can see the condition is extraordinary. With this being a piece of costume from the 1950s. Pulling down some new rings. And I'll have more before Friday as well. And there's a new Art Deco cameo. We've seen this setting before. But this one's a cameo, of course. A nine foot gold. large pink tourmaline, harlequin cut, and diamonds in 14 karat gold. That one's vintage. Uh, this one is antique, and I need to do a bit more research on it, but I do believe that it's Imperial Russian. It 
it's the most unique enamel ring that I've I've ever seen. Now, this is a diamond. These are rose cut diamonds. The setting is all open. Now, this is like a slice of diamond faceted and then underneath of it is like crinkled silver. The ring is silver and gilt. And there are no marks. I've had it XRF'd. It is sterling and gold over. And a size seven. I, Even though it has a space back here to be sized, I don't believe that it can be sized. And it's just, just the most unique, beautiful enamel ring I've, I've ever seen. Oh, I guess we're going to get to the unboxing. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to move these things off to the side because... I'll only be able to show you the box that I'll have to unbox to the side. It's literally that big. Oh my goodness. I don't even know if it can fit on the desk. is 21 inches wide and about 15 inches high oh my goodness show you pieces as I take them out. Oh, this was actually the box that I was expecting last week. Postal strike. It didn't make it. One big bubble wrap bag. I mean, $2,500 could be one piece, but... A 
I don't know who's going to buy that. <laughs> so, I'll take these out. But these are all pearls. Of course, all of this will be cleaned by me before I present it. That's why I ideally wanted to wait. Oh, okay. So what they've done is combine a couple of lots that I bought. Because, well, that's, I'll have to test that. I'm sure that's jade, pearls and purple jade. And there are two. Rice pearl bracelets. A lot of these are stretchies. Which don't come for a stretchy, especially when it's beautiful pearls. Probably restring this one though. I don't know if I'm into these created for you and maybe not that. Now this one has a magnetic clasp. Purple and lavender pearls. I have a couple purple pearls. Oh, I think this is all the bracelets. So more. And more <laughs> and more mm, that's gonna need very strong beautiful pearls old pearls that definitely needs very strong oh these are Gorgeous. That's rock crystal. That's definitely vintage. All the class for sterling. That's a double with sterling and rose gold over. Some of these pearls are, oh my goodness. Oh, the pink is gorgeous. And then this one is sterling as well. Of course, it needs cleaned. But still, yeah, this was the bracelet, pearl bracelet lot that I bought. They're Every single one of them is culture pearls. But of course, you know, you won't see the ones that need restrung. Right. I love, and I love to get vintage and antiques that are in the original box. This glass is almost like a cat's eye. And, and it's definitely a flapper length. 
Let's look at the box. Aren't they gorgeous? It's like a satin, satin gloss. This is, these are from Amsterdam. Oh, they definitely need a good soak. But they're beautiful. They're pale pink. And that's the box. More boxes. More bags, more boxes. Ah, oh, I know what this is. You'll know what it is too. Oh, if you watch the channel, you'll know what it is. It's uranium. How gorgeous is this? Ah, oh, I can't wait to clean it. <laughs> Ooh. Sterling, very, very, very pretty. Cameo ring. Nice larger size. Let's see. Mm, I'm going to say it's probably a seven and a half. It's from the fit. Beautiful vintage cameo. Another one. Oh, she's unusual. And another. Of course, these will all be bright and shiny when you see them. Let me take that camera down a little bit. Might have to take some things off while we run out of room. I'm going to say that is some fabulous jade. Sterling and marked for China. Oh, There's another stunner with it. This is Mark Sterling in England, but oh my goodness, look at these opals. I'm sure that's under rock crystal quartz. Ugh. That definitely needs to be a pendant. I mean, yeah, brooches are lovely, but you can wear a pendant all the time. I got three gorgeous sterling rings. Peridot and chrome diopside and diamond. That would be much prettier once they're cleaned up. Ooh. 
This one is Art Deco and it's Marcasite and Amethyst. Yeah, they're, they're filthy guys. And this one is newer, but I apps. Oh God, I love it and it fits. Oh no. I need to test it, but I do believe that they are red diamonds and a heart. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Why does it have to fit? <laughs> hmm, I might not see that one. Just being honest. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. Okay. Wow. Now I can date this one. Not off the top of my head, of course. I have to look at the dates, but... I'm going to guess that this is either Edwardian or Art Deco. And the enamel is perfect. Now, this piece, people who know me and know me well know about this piece. Uh, I believe this is Imperial Russian. I need to test the stones, but would you please look at this amazing piece of enamel? Breathtaking. Oh my God. It, it, let's, let's put the camera down on that. <laughs> you just have to look at it. Ah, okay. I thought there was some in this lot. You all love the antique boxes. Now this one is Art Deco. And celluloid. Oh, geez. Just crush the jewelry. Uh, by the looks of this one, I will say this is maybe Edwardian or Art Deco. And it's covered with a brocade. And another Art Deco celluloid. Is this one celluloid? This might be Bakelite. I have to test it. Let's see if it's Bakelite. Listen to how softly that closes after a hundred years. Oh my goodness. Now this one is definitely Victorian. I do clean them and condition them. And the last one is brocade and probably Art Deco. Well, not to be outdone with all the pearl bracelets. Of course, there has to be pearl necklaces. These are all sterling clasp. This one is sterling and set with a little diamond.
Oh, this is a long one. These are probably 22 inches. Twenty-two, twenty-four. These as well. Outstanding pearls. And this one I bought just because it was a little bit different. And I like the fact that it has an extender. More rings. Yay. I love both of these. Absolutely. Gorgeous. Wellow opals. Ethiopian opals. Stunning princess design. Ballerina. And this one is so whimsical. I love it. Oh, Lord. It does fit, but it's a little bit big. And is, the silver is very tarnished, but oh, my God. Look how freaking adorable. Sterling and a starfish. Love it. Love it. Love it. Oh, more pearls. If you didn't think there were enough pearls, there are more pearls. They're, these are beautiful. Oh my God. The luster on them. And this, this is long, probably 30 inches. Just a quick rough measurement. How beautiful are those? These. Oh my, I have more pearls coming on Friday. Oh, these are beautiful. Cream and two shades of gray. And this is, I would say springy, but it's, it's so pretty. They're mint. Almost like a turquoise and pink. Oh, I love a lot of my house is turquoise and pink. <laughs> I know. That sounds... It's, it's a 1930s house. I mean, it's really not now, but it will be, you know. Um, guys, if you didn't think that was enough pearls, there are more. There's a flapper length of gray. Let me zoom in so you can see the color of these. I call them platinum. They're, oh, the colors that are just bouncing off of them. It's not just platinum. It's pink and blue and green and gorgeous. <gasps> Two big long strands. Have a nice long strand infinity of just beautiful, beautiful luster pearls. Pink, where they're white with them, a pink undertone. And these are peach. I don't know if the camera's picking that up well enough. Might be a little bright in here. They're just the softest pinkish blush pink peach. Oop. Zoom back out there. This little bag is a bag that keeps giving. Well, it wasn't really a little bag. 
Yeah, this one, these ladies are Art Deco. How stunning are they? Might be a little bit earlier. that'll all clean up. Oh, okay. That's a big heavy lot. <laughs> I'll show you the cameo first. Oh. Yeah, these ones are all in sterling. Look at that three graces. Oh my goodness. Oh, it is sterling, but it is quite 800. It is quite starnish. Oh my gosh, look how parched that poor shell is. We'll give it a good bath and a good oil. She's lovely. 925. She looks vintage, not antique. She's probably 1940s. That's funny. The safety is actually more silver. This is Deco with the marcasite. She's Art Deco as well. 800. Continental silver. Oh, the great big lot. Oh my goodness. Well, we need to make room. Move some of the pearls back here. Zoom back out. Sorry about that. I get excited and zoom in to show you something. Now, this is a large lot of pink quartz. I'll have to test these. I'm not sure if that's sterling. And if it's not, I'll restring them. Or let them go as costume. I'll, these are beautiful pearls. I'm hoping that those are sterling finding. Pink quartz and, and pearls. I mean, seriously. And this is sweet. Just a little bee. And this lot is bracelets and I think necklaces. I think that's all. Pin set. Those are glass. Well, pretty glass. Look. Oh my goodness. like roses set in the glass almost like um kind of like a reverse wedding cake there's another one of those cultured pearl i hope that's sterling and a little chippy I can see the stretch is gone or going in that. It's a big bracelet, gosh. Fitting like an anklet. <gasps> this one is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Crystal and pink quartz. With the lifesaver class. Check and see if that's sterling. Finally, I knew there was a necklace that went with those. I think this is sterling, isn't it? SR. I know who that is. I, I'll have to look up the designer. That was actually a designer set. Oh, 
and that looks like it had oh that's one of those little clips you can shorten it with okay cool These are beautiful. Um, that's unusual. Beautiful beads, though. I don't know about that charm. <laughs> but, you know, it was in a lot, guys. And then this is just classic and beautiful, and it has a hidden clasp. These are probably vintage or antiques. So many of you love pink, so. When I saw rose quartz, I took a jump. Now. They're not just boxes. Nineteen thirties. Iris glass and sterling. Some nibbles, but it's an honest piece. It's a hundred years old, guys. Or thirties nearly. Iris was big in the thirties. You can I mean it started in the 20s and then it got it gained popularity in the 1930s. Original box. Now, I wasn't sure if um, these were amethyst or paste, but I'm quite positive. That they're antique from the cutting. But I will let you know. Here I go again, zooming in. And let's see, what's the last one? Oh, love the box. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at the box, first of all. Look at that. Oh my God, I love, I love that freaking pendant. Gorgeous, absolutely. Three more bags. But beautiful, gorgeous things. Now, this once upon a time would have been a man's watch chain. But they're more commonly worn as necklaces today. Heavy sterling silver. Um, gosh, I forget. You know, guys, I forget the links. I really do. But I think that's a diamond cut modified curb. If I'm not mistaken. And this one is is just pretty, it's sort of like a mariner. But it's just lightweight, but I love how it reflects. Now, last time I brought you, and there's still a few pieces of it left, which I'm shocked, but Wedgwood China. Jasperware. Oh, she's gorgeous. 
It was an antique Jasper Ware ring. And, and this whole lot is green. Which I love green. So. So there. <laughs> Needs cleaned. But she's a beautiful antique ring. I might as well show you her up close as well. Well, those are both deco, and these brooches, uh, 1962 on this one, and 1974 on this one, but they're both um, retros, you know, they've copied an antique design, you can find this design from the 1800s, you know, up into 19, wait, wait, is that, yeah, 1962 and 1974. They did start dating them, so, you know, they could tell the, the antique from the reproduction. And one last thing, guys. In a velvet box, in a dusty velvet box, but still beautiful silk velvet. Only, now these will need to be restrung. I knew that when I bought them. They are foil and lava fire opal antique beads. And if you have a strand and they're long enough and you pull them out, you'll be distracted forever because you can watch them forever. Well, guys. This is it, the $2,500 haul. I quite often buy like this. Like I said, this wasn't part of the haul or any of the first necklaces weren't part of the haul as well. But this is what it takes to keep you all happy. Not to keep me happy too, I like to shop. Let me know what your favorite pieces were. I know a lot of you are afraid to say what your favorite pieces are because then someone will bid you up. <laughs> Maybe you should email me, but definitely leave a comment. Thank you. Have a great rest of your evening.